Today I've got with me a bunch of FPV antennas, in particular a bunch of circularly polarized FPV antennas. In this video I'm going to be going over how to tell whether they're right-hand circular polarization or left-hand circular polarization. Now, neither polarization is better than the other, they both perform the same, unless you have a noisy environment in one polarization and not the other, but the important thing to know is the cross-polarization rejection between left-hand to right-hand polarization is, in theory, infinite, and in practice on the order of 20, 30 dB or, or even more. So if you try to fly with a left-hand circular polarized antenna and your video transmitter is a right-hand circular polarized antenna, well, that's not going to work so well for you. So you need to make sure that you pair left-hands with left-hands and right-hands with right-hands. So now that we know why you need to care which is which, how do you tell them apart? Well, we'll start with the helical antenna design. This is a simple driven wire antenna with a reflector at the base. And in order to tell the handedness, we look at the coil of wire and we find the top end of the wire. Then we go back a quarter turn downward and we take a hand. In this case, I'm going to take my right hand and we start at the lower part and we curl our hand in line with it along with how the spiral goes up. And you'll see that my thumb ends up pointing up in the direction of the radiation pattern. That tells us this is a right-hand circular polarized helical antenna. In contrast, the left-hand circular polarized helical antenna, if we find the end of the winding and we go back a quarter turn, and if we were to go up with our right hand, it would point down towards the reflector. That tells me that it's a left-hand circular polarized antenna. Or you could also take your left hand and start a quarter turn back, go up, follow it, and it points away from the reflector in the direction of radiation. This is a left-hand circular polarized antenna. These two antennas would not work well together at all. We want to make sure that we pair the right circular polarization with the right circular polarization and the left circular polarization with the left circular polarization. Now, those are directional antennas. Uh, other directional antennas include patch antennas where it's very difficult to tell. You'll probably have to look at the spec sheet or know a little bit more about the theory. That's not something we're going over today, but know that those are out there. And there's another type of antenna that's omnidirectional and that's called a pagoda antenna. We're not going to cover that today, but you can go to Martin Barrett's website and look at the reference designs, and he'll tell or show you what the difference is between his two antennas. The easy ones that you have access to that you can immediately tell what they are, not based off of just my color coding, are the classic cloverleaf antennas, also another design pioneered by IB Crazy in the early 2010s, um, at least for this use case. So the procedure is exactly the same, except you only consider one leaf of the antenna. Here we look at a leaf, and we look at the bottom, and we look at the top. We take a hand, and we curl from the bottom to the top with the antenna facing up. And we see that the right hand, the thumb points up. So this is a right-hand circular polarized antenna. If we were to do that with our left hand from bottom to top, it would point down. That's another way to tell. It's a right-hand circular polarized antenna. Or, of course, you could look at my color coding, which red means right. Now... This is the opposite. This is a 2.4 gigahertz left-hand circular polarized antenna. So if we take our left hand from bottom to top, curl it, it, thumb points up from the antenna's orientation. And our right hand, it points down. So this is a left-hand circular polarized antenna. You have a skew planar wheel. It's the same concept. It has four lobes instead of three. But we start at the bottom, and we go to the top. So you can see this is a right-hand circular polarized antenna. Now, if you have one of the antennas with a radome like this one, and it's a good radome where it's glued together, you might have some difficulty telling. But generally, the quality ones tend to say whether they're right or left hand. Now, this one is some cheap Chinesium one, so we can just wiggle that right off. And we go bottom to top. We see that this is a, indeed a right hand circular polarized antenna. Anyhow, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content.